But I just want the world to know in my final statement that if you're a supporter of mine, and I know most of you are, please explain the truth in a respectful manner. Telling these hate-filled people that they're wrong and calling them names won't help. These people are not happy people because happy people don't act that way. Tell them the truth. Show them that the content is out of context. Show them the long format content. Say all the ways I've helped you. And I really believe by being a genuinely professional, logical, positive person, you guys can change public consciousness for me. And time is a beautiful thing. It's amazing how things change with time. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my fantastic life, which I've managed to build with all of the tenacity and mental strength that I try and teach my fans. You know how to reach me. And I'll finish with a quote from my late father. My unmatched perspicacity, coupled with sheer indefatigability, makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. Andrew Tate apparently has been canceled all over the place because uh, he had fans based off of misogynistic posts, hateful things, uh, calls to potential violence towards women. Uh, this guy was all over the place and now he appears to not be over all over the place anymore. Um, so yes, this already was breaking this week, but now there's a few more responses. He's had a little bit of sympathetic uh, uh, supporters on his side that even invited them on their show for him to explain or even talk about the predicament that he's in. You might not be surprised as the first guy who said, come on, let's talk about it, Andrew. But when they go to cancel you, ladies and gentlemen, it comes hard and fast. You lose your Facebook, then your Instagram, then your Gmail, then your Discord, then your website hosting, then your domain name, like then your payment processor, then your bank. Then like it's just like in real time, you're watching your phone and apps just exploding. Boom, boom, boom. It's kind of how those things work. I'm not sure how the bank account part works, but apparently you're completely eliminated and alienated from society. You now have to live on the streets. So Natuck across and we'll definitely not have you on anymore. Uh, anyways, just to give you an idea of who he was, because maybe it was a quick explanation. Maybe you didn't hear about the types of things he said, just like I didn't before. Here's a little glimpse as to who Andrew Tate is. Do you think that women are property? So I think my sister is her husband's property. I'm not saying anything new. I'm not saying anything which is really, truly even controversial. The whole world agreed that the woman belongs to the man when she decides to give herself to a man. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. Who knows CPR? Well, me. Help him. No. Why? Because I ain't gay. It's like a lot of fun. And in fact, of course, you know who it's attracted. A bunch of young folks and maybe even some incels. Let's go to some details. Andrew Tate's videos promoting misogyny and targeting women have come to prominence this summer with many teens commenting on just how much he's appearing on their social media feeds. His content has raised concerns about the real world effect it could have, especially on younger users exposed to it during their school holidays when they have time on their hands. Just a correction there. These folks don't need to wait for school holidays to be on the internet <laughs> and looking at stuff on their phone. It's always also a very serious part about this. He's also been accused of abuse allegations and uh, wrote, and he took off from the UK. Here it is. Around the time UK police were investigating these abuse allegations from Tate, he's understood to have left the UK for Romania. And in one video explaining his reasons for the move, he suggested it was because it would be easier to evade rape charges. This is quote, probably 40% of the reason he moved there. He says in one video adding, I'm not a rapist, but I like the idea of just being able to do what I want. I like being free. Well, apparently he's free of Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. I'm trying to remember all of them now. Discord, Reddit, I don't know what all these damn things are. You guys tell me, what are your thoughts on this, Dan? Chase Bank, HSBC. Barclays, <laughs> every <laughs> single thing he no longer has. Uh, no, uh, screw Andrew Tate, screw the plane he flew in on, screw the plane he flew out of the UK into Romania on. I don't like him and I don't like the message he puts forward. And I will say what I have been proudly saying on TYT Network. And before I was even on TYT, when I was doing coverage of Milo Yiannopoulos, deplatforming works. Okay, because if Andrew Tate, who is nothing more than a big brother, we reject who started a pyramid scheme. If Andrew Tate is able to go out there and say that he is, um, oh, I am now a victim because I am being canceled. I'm having my life taken away from me. Go out, young men, play my clips in full context and tell people how my messages of um, basically using women, treating women as property and 
like a uh, mad misogyny and homophobia and bigotry have actually tell, tell them how those messages have helped you and play those videos in full context, please for me. And also tell them to join my website because you know where to find me. <laughs> my website where you could join my pyramid scheme and continue to make me wealthy because I'm going to need that considering it's hard for me to get on any of these other platforms. This stuff is ridiculous and the I, I am really mostly upset with the idea that People will go out into the world and will start to actually think of things like this. We'll start to actually think that, oh, people are just being canceled for having alternative opinions. So in some ways, it gives it more light and more prominence for the people who have already been kind of too far gone. But that's why I am a big proponent of people on the left who can come speak out and say, no, these are actually better ways to model masculinity. Uh, things that I think you and I do, JR, to a mm -hmm. decent extent. Um, but other people should do as well on the left to show that, hey, the ideal way of being a man isn't being like Andrew Tate, isn't being a scumbag, isn't being able to realize that uh, to make things full circle, JR, because this is one of his Andrew Tate's points, uh, women aren't the bad drivers, he's the bad driver. <laughs> <laughs> In whatever car he drives, <laughs> Prius or Tesla, we don't know which one it's gonna be. Maybe it's an Astro van. I forget which car was yours, but um, any of those. Maybe he's got all four of them. Uh, but you know what? Um, again, from the beginning of this, with the Alex Stein stuff and and the Portnoy, and we talked about earlier, um, it comes back to money. They need their presence online for money because there's enough people fooled. These are all actors online. They're trying to make money, and if more attention and followers they get to believe this madness, there's more money. So when you deplatform, the reason they're so mad. It's because you're taking away my opportunity to make more money. It's like, you know, you can't take Morgan Freeman off the movie set. He's trying to make his money. He's an actor. 